hello everyone welcome to another video thank you so much for coming back if you are a returning subscriber and if you're new welcome my name is norma and i do a lot of personal finance videos if this is the type of content you enjoy and you're excited about and you want to be motivated and also you know manage your finances then please do subscribe it is free and it's very helpful helpful to me okay let's stop there um, so what we're going to be doing today is updating my digital budget using obviously my BFF, this one, my planner, um, just so I can be able to have our weekly meeting with my husband and go through our finances together. So obviously for him, the digital spreadsheet works way better than um, writing things down. Sometimes it's like, I don't know, what am I looking at? And obviously with my handwriting and stuff. So I'm going to start with just updating my debt. So it's going to be side by side. It's probably already is side by side. So I've just opened up the debt page and over here on NetBank. So let's see if I can try and zoom it in. Okay, so over here on the net bank one is the one I'm going to update. So I'm also going to attach this side how much currently um, is the balance on the net bank. And I'm going to see if I have it on my phone, which is 13,184.24 cents. So if we take that amount, because as you can see at the bottom over there, there is some like, oh gosh is little payments and deductions that happened and um, so if we take the 13,000 13 184 comma 24 and subtract it to the current balance over there which is 12,988.39 cents equals to 19585 which means that's the amount that went to interest as you can see, NetBank is actually a nightmare. Um, they take a lot of, it's not my favorite bank right now. They take a lot of like costs. It's so different from F and B. Um, so anyways, that's how much went to interest. Um, so that's how much I actually paid onto the card. So that's how much I sent. I transferred 2000 Rand and out of the 2,000 Rand, 195 Rand 85 cents went to interest or other fees. And it means I actually paid 1,800 into my credit card. So in total this month, we have paid 2,015. So what I'm going to do is I haven't paid this 2,211 that I've written here. I've actually paid 2,015 which means I'm going to change this one here. And I saw a comment of someone asking me, where do I get erasable pens? I get them from Walton's, but what I'm going to do is a video of showing all the things that I use for my budgeting or my stationery and things like that. And maybe you can go and grab them as well and we can use the same thing. Oh no, I shouldn't actually be putting that, hey? I should be putting the one eight. I'm making so much mistakes but that's what's nice about these erasable pens I don't have to scratch and make everything look untidy I hate untidiness so 1804 15 which means the current balance again if you're not someone who wants to write things down like my husband absolutely fine as you can see everything is automatically calculated for you and the new balance is now sitting up there so 13,184.24 cents. Okay, so I'm still hoping to put more into this credit card. Um, maybe another 1,000 I'm gonna push. All the sales I make for spreadsheets are gonna go to this debt over here. So thank you anyone who buys a spreadsheet. It's really helping me pay off debt and I really hope it's helping you as well manage your finances. Okay, so that is my credit card um, payments up to date on my spreadsheet. So that's, I'm going to show KB that. 
um i don't think i have to update anything else here fnb is fine car is updated let's go down to this one over here the pc okay so that is our computer um so here it says i last paid 500 rand so now i've paid more than 500 rand so i'm going to also attach it somewhere here the picture showing you how much i paid so in total i have paid 1900 rand at vodacom so the first payment was the 423 that was for the vodacom phone over here and then the other payment is for um the pc and in total for the pc i have paid 1477 if i minus the interest and all of that so 1477 so i paid 1900 rand and then if you minus the 423 that went to the phone i'm now left with 1477 um so i'm going to leave it how i've put it here just so i don't confuse myself with the interest and everything and for the 423 i already know the interest there is 60 rand because i saw it on my statement so that's how much i've paid in total so if we take the 1477 plus the 363 which is how much i initially paid so if we take the 423 subtracted from the 60 is 363 it means in total we've paid 1842 vodacom so pc plus phone and what's nice is the phone um the contract is ending next month and i'm not going to renew it 1840 the balance i don't know what the balance is but if we use the balance that's over here which we can calculate it which is 36303 plus 487 equals to 36790 in total so that is our new date but i don't want you to worry about that we're gonna sort that one out quicker than expected um we just needed a really powerful computer for what kb is doing okay so that is our debt payment all updated um on the spreadsheet for us to have a bird's eye view of how we are looking this month so what i'm going to do is i'm going to calculate the total payments um this is still going to change because remember like how i said i'm still going to pay more into my net bank so if i calculate the total payment it is 132826 from the car plus 21161 plus the 118884 plus 18804 50 plus 18814 and that is how much we've paid in our debt this month so far so if i go up here on payment summary under april i'm just going to edit that to 6373 21 okay and that's my new balance over here but i'm going to work hard and putting more into this net bank credit card and get that out of the way asap okay so that is my debt updated so now let's have a look at savings so we're going to move to another tab and that is the goal amount for my savings so 64,000. That's how much it says I've saved so far and that's how much I have to go. So let's update how much we have saved. So we're going to move to this part over here. Um, and for emergency saving, I had planned to save 2,500 Rand this month. So far, I have saved 2,001. Again, I will have to rub this out because I'm going to try and push for the 2500 rand but because i have erasable pens i can do that 
So over here on saved so far, I'm going to change it to 2001 and I'm going to again leave it up here because I'm using my bank to save the emergency fund. Black Friday hasn't changed, but that is the gold amount for Black Friday, but we're still sitting on 3.3. Three. Um, what's the next one? Christmas. This one I'm going to have to now count then because I'm actually not 100% sure how much we're sitting on. And I've got 20 rand change that came back from today because we had to use our miscellaneous, our 100 rand from our miscellaneous. So I'm going to start by counting the tens, which I think it's 460. and tens. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And let's get the other one. So I'm gonna use uh, 20 rands as well. So I'm, I'm using this challenge here, tens and twenties for my Christmas savings. And you guys know how expensive Christmas is. So please don't sleep on saving for Christmas. We all love Christmas, especially in South Africa, um, but just save for it. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 400 rand. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 800 rand. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 1,200. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1,320. So 1,320, let's calculate that. So 1,320 plus 460 is 1,780. So now I'm just going to update this over here. 1780 and just remember you don't have to put the r or whatever everything is already um created for it to calculate as cash okay so 1780 is what i've saved so far for christmas and i have 2220 to go and i need it by november so i'm 44 percent i'm almost 50 percent to my target um, and i'm using my 10 and 20 rand challenge Okay, and then for birthday gifts, I haven't saved any money on that. Furniture, I've, I've completed the challenge for the 5K challenge. The one where you save one rand more a day. And you already know I bought the smear kettle and the air fryer. Um, but I am going to do the challenge again to buy a, a TV or to buy a dinner table and a rug. Actually, I think I'll buy a dinner table and a rug with that. Um, and then vouchers. So let's put this money away so that I can move on to... Look how much is it? It's a lot. Okay, so let me just do this. Put it back in the binder. I've got a gateway voucher. And it is a 4,000 Rand voucher. So I've got that. And then I've got another voucher, which is a Woolworths voucher, um, which is a 150 Rand voucher. So I think I'm going to add on to the Woolworths one to get up to 2,000 Rand, just because I enjoy. Um, like buying country road and things like that which is found at Woolworths so I can just save up for that because it's not cheap country road is not cheap so we're gonna now edit that to 
4,150. So I'm just going to put it over here as well. So vouchers. I did not have any plan for it, but now I'm going to plan it out to at least 4,300 Rand, which means I have to try and get 150 Rand into this challenge. So, so far we've saved 4,150. Sorry, let me update. 4150. Okay, so vehicle fund. I haven't started the vehicle fund, um, but I think I should start it as soon as possible because I want to fix my car radiator. Um, camera. So for the camera fund and other payments. I don't know, it's going to be maybe for camera and traveling. I'm using the 52 envelope savings. It's probably going to be for camera and school fees or camera and traveling. I don't know which one is it, but for now, I'll just leave it as camera. And so far, I have saved 3,600 Rand in total, and I'm hoping to get to 4,000 Rand at the end of this month. So, three, six in total. and then lastly food stamp hasn't changed okay so in total we have saved 20,231 already in the month of April which is amazing um, so if you have a look over here as you can see it has updated itself so you don't have to touch anything over here and then if we scroll down we also have a visual representation of how we are looking, what's the percentage we are on, um, but also we have it individually over here. I do have also a Google spreadsheet just for saving challenges, um, but you don't have to get it because there's also um, the breakdown over here as well. Okay, so that is our savings update. Now let's have a look at our budget update just to make sure that this is also up to date. Um, so we're going to start with our fixed expenses. Okay, so rent is sorted. Um, so I like making it like a gray once it's paid. I don't know which gray do I use. Is it this one? Yeah. So rent is sorted, car payment is sorted, car insurance, Wi-Fi, Vodacom is now sorted. So for Vodacom, we've paid one nine. Actually, it's not one nine, it's not one nine. It is one eight forty because interest. One eight forty. Um, and then we're gonna tick that one now. And I'm just going to change it into a color gray. You don't have to do this, but if you do, you, you know, you can use any color. You don't have to use gray. Gap cover is coming up to on the 15th, um, which when this video goes up, it probably would have gone up or it's going up tomorrow. Netflix is sorted as well. Um, gray. And we paid 99 Rand on Netflix. So did I tick it? Why is Netflix not here? Mm, that's not good, not good, not good. Let me get a pen, a blue pen. And Netflix. And that is 99 Rand. It doesn't change. So it's due on the 13th. And I will attach a screenshot showing that it is already paid. So let's tick that one. Um, and then FNB account is also paid. Yep, so it's right here. And let's make that gray. And it was four ninety nine, and then miscellaneous. I withdrew the money, all four hundred rand, and let's also make that. So so far we've withdrew four hundred rand on miscellaneous. I don't think we're gonna withdraw any more. 
Okay, so for my fixed expenses, I budgeted 25,294 and so far I've spent 24,914. I think I'm going to be just over budget on that because when I pay my cap, I just want to see. It's going to be 25,300. Oh my gosh, so it's just going to be up by like 100 rand. Okay, so we'll update that tomorrow. Let's have a look at our variable expenses. Um, so electricity, I'm still going to put more electricity. So, so far we've spent 200 rand electricity, so that won't change. For groceries, um, that's the budget 25 and it says I've spent 957. Let's just do a calculation of groceries. So if I open my calculator again and we've got groceries here 957 plus here we go, here coffee in here 554 so 1511 is how much we've spent so far 1511 for eating out Eating out, so we've got 317 plus 317 plus Gosh, sorry for the noise um, Eating out is 317 plus 110 plus 48 Rand And simply Asia 293 so 768 Rand is what we spent so far on eating out. This week there'll be no eating out though because KB and I are challenging ourselves to not eat out and we're using the money to put in the 52 envelope challenge. Petrol. What have we spent on petrol? 400 plus. 490 plus 400 so 1290 okay gym we're not spending anything on gym coolant I think I did by the yeah 180 um nails here laundry is still 250 but we'll be doing our laundry soon household we spent the only 217 there at this came and nothing on drinks some on a fast and nothing on uber for now um and then if we have a look at our debt updates so for my net bank credit card Need bank credit card. I have paid one eight zero four fifty plus two one one. If I go back there, it will show me how much I've paid, which is the two zero one five seventy six. So two thousand and fifteen seventy six cents. One five seventy six. My plan was to pay. 2500 rand so hopefully i still pay this 500 rand here so i'm not going to tick it it's not done if and be credit card is done car is sorted pc um so we ended up paying 1840 on pc so that is done actually it's not 1840 it's 141477 on PC so I'm gonna tick that and then I'm gonna tick the phone as well I paid the 423 but we said because the other amount went to interest it ended up being 363 um, let's go back here 363 okay so I'm gonna make these two gray I think I used the wrong gray there and gray okay so I'm just trying to tackle my net bank credit card over here and um, so I'm not gonna take it gray 
and then for savings uh just another update so for emergency fund we said 2001 is what i've saved so far and black friday hasn't changed christmas maybe i didn't update christmas what was it 1000 let's go back christmas 1780 so far and i just need to update the full budget this is a nice bird's eye view of everything without moving to tab from tab to tab 1780 and i was hoping to save 2000 this month on christmas so we will see we still have an, a whole half a month to go um and then april gifts not i mean not april gifts birthday gifts nothing furniture nothing we budgeted this month voucher we ended up saving one four one five oh four thousand one hundred and fifty vehicle fund nothing camera is sitting on three thousand six hundred rand and food stamps have not changed but i also need to update this one okay so how much um do i need to save more and how much do i need to pay off more debts just so i have a bit of an idea i'm gonna use this sheet over here so for my emergency fund i wanted to put away 2500 this month but i've only managed to put 2100 rand i'm not 2001 so if i go 2500 rand minus 2001 equals 2499 to go so should i just put it here just gonna put it here 499 to go um and then for black friday i already know it's 900 rand because it's the ninth month um for my 52 envelope it's 400 rand for my christmas minus 1780 i just need 20 rand to go so for my Christmas here, we're changing it to 180 because I didn't realize I set a different goal on my budget planner. And then for vouchers, it's going to be another 150 that I'm hoping to add onto my Woolies voucher. So in total, 499 plus 900 plus 400 plus 20 plus 150 is 19. Six nine. Okay, so I'm just gonna write it here. One nine six nine. That still needs to go to savings. This is just so I can remind myself. Um, if I make make some extra cash, I don't just waste it. Um, and then for my credit card, I was hoping to put in 25 as it is here on the spreadsheet and so if I've put in 215 so 25 minus by 215 76 484 rand is what I still need to put in my savings I mean my debt sorry for 90. I'm just going to say 490 to debt. So in total, 490 plus 1969 equals to 2459. And that is going to be my goal in my spreadsheets or selling anything of how much will go into my savings and my debt because obviously I'm using my business and side hustles to make this money here to help me reach my goals okay I think that is it I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was informative um, but also I hope it was practical so that you can also use your budget and um, have a look at your overview of your expenses what you're spending a lot of money on what are you spending less money on what is your priorities um, obviously if you have a look at the totals over here how much i have saved so far and um, how much i have paid in debt so far you can already see that my priority is on my savings not really my debt but i am going to do 
both at the same time basically um but if i could take this all my savings and put it to my debt, i probably would pay off my credit card now and then move on to the next thing but you know what there is no use of just like just paying off debt living to pay off debt um you also have to save and plan for your future and not only like live in what you've already used your money in the past so i hope that is encouragement to you as well thank you so much everyone for watching i really do appreciate you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful wonderful day bye